Well, buenos dias. I'm just leaving Santo Domingo now. Our group had sort of a mixed set of experiences here. Uh, the laundry mat. I will tell anybody who's doing the Camino de Santiago, do not have laundry to do when you come to Santo Domingo. There are literally two washers and two dryers in the entire freaking town. Of course, everybody's trying to use them and the dryer doesn't work for crap. So I have a backpack full of wet clothes. And so hopefully the laundry mat was going to be open this morning, but it's not. Of course, why would you have a laundry mat open 24 hours a day? That's just too damn logical. So uh, some of the group went to a nice dinner and they got charged 20 euros for bread that they didn't even order. They had an argument with the restaurateur and now they've accidentally left their coats inside. So they have to wait until he opens or decides to let them have their coats back. Very interesting. The rest of us, I would say, had a very pleasant time. We had, uh, they had some kind of holiday today or yesterday, which uh, they gave all the pilgrims a free bowl of soup for lunch, which was very good. It was potato and chorizo. And then they also gave out barbecued ribs and bread for dinner, which wasn't a lot of food, but we sort of went back multiple times to make it an actual meal. So, uh, today's walk, I think is a little over 20K. I think it's 22, 23K, something like that. Um, I'm not really feeling great on one of my feet. I have this pretty brutal spot. It's like a blister that's been slowly growing and getting worse and worse. So I'm limping a bit, but I'm doing okay. Yeah, I'm sort of excited about uh, getting on the trail today because it's supposed to be sunny uh, as opposed to yesterday, which was just complete horrible rain and mud. It was just the worst. Just trudgery is what it was. It was so bad that I have money in my wallet, in my pants, and they were soaked. That's how bad the moisture went through everything I was wearing. There was not a patch on my body that was not dry or not wet. I mean, my socks, my feet, my underwear, every nook and cranny of my entire body was drenched. And it was weird. So with that, hola, buenos dias. Say, si, hola. Hola. Está dando buenos días a tu país, eh. Que tenga buen día. Muchas gracias. ¿Cuál es el camino de Santiago? Señorita, señorita, ¿cuál es el camino de Santiago? ¿Ya ve? Okay. Gracias, gracias. Adiós, adiós. Sometimes you gotta really look around. You see, this is the arrow. That is not exactly a great marking. And you'll find those along the curb sometimes, sometimes on the side of a building, sometimes there's a shell. <clears throat> I see a lot of people get lost when I read other blogs. They say, oh yeah, I went a couple of kilometers off. Or You really gotta work hard to get lost. I mean, there's markings everywhere and everybody in every town you walk through will point. They just see you with your backpack and they know exactly where you're heading. And so there's no, there's no reason anybody should get lost on this Camino. It really isn't. If you're getting lost, it's either you're leaving too early in the morning and it's pitch dark out at night, so you can't see the markers, or you're not paying attention because the markers are everywhere. So, but I will say adios for now. And que tenga buen día means have a good day in Espanol. Adios.